Hey Joe, it's hey, not from Hey Guys. Not too bad. How are you? I'm good, thank Congrats you. Congrats yeah. on this absolutely thank amazing you. movie. Oh, I'm glad so, you liked so, it. so much fun. Good. Um, tell me about the kind of experience of working with Yorgos. I mean, I know you started with Ang Lee on one of your de- on your debut, and now you work with Yorgos. I mean, how did the two kind of differ, and what were the experiences like? Oh, they're very, very different uh, projects and directors. Um, I think this being a period film, people turned up to it expecting. Um, that we'd have to know our history and do our research and a lot of discussion about characters and motivations and the things that you might conventionally talk about with a director but he was very clear that he wanted to steer away from that and he wasn't stuck on making uh, a documentary or capturing a period in time specifically that was never that was never his thing he wanted to play around with the relationships between the characters and uh, encouraged us to have as much uh, fun with each other and with the script as possible and to look as, as silly in front of each other as possible. Yeah. That was his aim, I think. Humiliation. Yeah. Hey, you guys. We love it. It's a good name, that, isn't it? Name. Uh, congratulations on the film. I Thanks, I haven't seen it. I hear it's so great. Fun. Everyone, that's three people. <laughs> the third person to say yes. that this evening. How it is. Um, but it is delightful. Great. Um, I mean, what was the experience Is it like, like? Carry On Dick? That's how, in my head, it's like Carry On Dick. Shades. We we'll say shades, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> um, I mean, it's a fantastic movie. And what was the experience like working with your Because he's such a visionary director, but he brings such a kind of frivolity to his movies. I mean, what was it like working with with him as a director? It was lovely. It was actually. I mean, it wasn't. You know, it wasn't knockabout. It was just very relaxed. He's very gentle. He has a lovely, dry sense of humour, and he's just very encouraging. You know, he just kind of come over and just gently suggest something, and then just go. And it was very relaxed, and, the, and quite a lot of the time, you'd sort of forget we were filming, really. We'd just, just be creating and doing yeah. things. So it, I love that. I love that feeling. It doesn't feel like a high-pressured thing where someone's shouting all the time. Or, cause, and, and we shot it in natural light, which is, was really interesting. And actually, you get to the end of the... It started to get dark. It's like, well, we've got to stop. And that's a very unusual feeling on a film. Let me ask you about this trifecta of amazing women, the three of you, this amazing sparring match between the three of you. I mean, what was that experience like, the three of you kind of together for this movie? It was fantastic. I mean, we we had three weeks of rehearsal beforehand to get to know each other, which was uh, very special to feel, you know, safe and and friendly with these women and then to act with them. It's like, it's Olivia Coleman and Rachel Weisz. I I don't know how it gets better than that. It was was a very dreamy experience. Congratulations on the film. Thank you. I haven't seen it yet. You haven't seen it? No. It's a common thread at this festival. Is it? No one's been... (laughs) I don't think it exists, does it? (laughs) It's just rough cut. It certainly looks a lot of fun. I mean, it yeah. must have been it a great time on this movie. The, just, just tell us about the experience of being on just set lovely. with all these guys. One of the, First of all, three gorgeous ladies. I just said to someone down there, four days after she picked up an Oscar in 2017, young Miss Stone, as I, 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 I had to call her that, <laughs> finds herself rolling around on a carpet of a rehearsal room in Hertfordshire <laughs> with, Emma, with um, Olivia Coleman. Rachel Weiss and me too. Come on. Come on, you're just jealous now, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> just wonderful. Very much so. Tell me about this kind of this dance sequence that you did with Rachel, which uh, is is it's fascinating but also very, very funny and it's played very, very well by the two of you. I mean, that take a lot of uh, training to be you to be able to do that or did you just kind of in the moment just bring no, it? No, we didn't screen? do it on the day. We uh, <laughs> we had a couple of weeks to piece it together. There was a great choreographer called Constanza who helped us. Yorgos sent us some kind of clips of inspiration and was there working on it with us and uh, we just put it together over a couple of weeks but it was a lot of fun doing it. Yeah, and obviously your scenes with Emma, I mean some of them are electric, particularly one in the one in the forest, the two of you are chasing each oh, other yeah, which is good. very very yeah. funny. I mean, what was it like working with her and did you, what did you learn off of her? Because obviously you're both young actors and mm-hmm. she's done quite a lot and yeah. you're kind of I can imagine it was a rewarding experience. It was great, I mean she's such a generous actor and generous person, she's very down to earth and funny and uh, talented and just a great person to be around and to watch and to learn from and uh, both her and the three leading women they're all you know they're phenomenal in the film so I just feel very lucky to have been a part of it with them. What was it like working with Yorgos how does he differ from say working with, with Armando on the thick of it? Oh well I mean chalk and cheese yeah. um, in terms of um, in terms of their approaches but totally identical in in my opinion insofar as they're both utterly benign human beings they're not into 
you know, uh, power games or, you know, head fucking or, can I say that, you know, or, or anything like that. They just want to produce a good piece of work, you know, and from the people that they've chosen to be with. And so that was uh, utterly, uh, you know, in parallel and, and, and common. And just a joy. I mean, uh, there was the young Joe Alwyn, Nicholas Holt. I mean, the, there were just six of us for most of the time in the rehearsal room. Um, every now and then we'd grab, you know, another, like uh, Mark Gatiss came in, I think, for one day. Um, but for two, two and a half weeks, with just the six of us, just kind of playing very benign games and, and working on the script. You know, we would say the lines from a particular scene one day and, or another scene the next, but not in, a, not in a kind of conventional rehearsal way. It was kind of also Armando's approach, you know, wants to make you, A, be relaxed and B, uh, be your best and, and then feel, feel comfortable. And so many directors, all, already from the outset what, want you to feel uncomfortable because they think that produces better results. I don't understand it. You know, it's like a kid comes up to you. Do you, do you have children? No. <laughs> well, you know, your, your child come, does a painting and it's got a red sky and the lake is yellow and you go, the lakes aren't fucking yellow, the skies aren't red, you twat, you know, get out there. You know, if you say... Oh, well done, darling. That's lovely. You know, that's really nice. I mean, you're going to get better results, aren't you? Yeah. It's, it's not rocket science, <laughs> but boy, a lot of directors haven't hey, cottoned on yet. Yeah. You worked with uh, Rachel a couple of times before. Yes, this time yeah, she's your on-screen yeah. wife. I mean, um, she's such a special actress. I mean, what's it like working with her? But this time, I mean, working quite close again. I mean, she just goes from strength to strength, it seems. I like, to, I like to think of my, myself as the poor man's Daniel Craig. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it was lovely, as ever. I, I love working with Rachel. And we, we had a you know, good time. I mean, again, it's, I, it's the women's film, I have to stress that. It's, it's amazing. Amazing three women, amazing three actors, and amazing three characters. It's, that's what the film's about. And, um, I, you know, I, I start to, we have a little bit, and then I go off to war, and then I come back again, etc. But it was lovely to, you know, to... I, lovely to have worked with her before and feel there was a sort of natural, um, I suppose, a sort of uh, e uh, ease there. Yeah, and obviously you're, you're in a, a few scenes, but not in the entire movie, as you say. But I mean, when you read the script for the first time, what was it about the story as a whole that kind of uh, intrigued you? Well, that I think that you know, that it's, it's this is a remarkable story. Sarah Churchill was was effectively running the country. She was a, 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 a sort of strategic genius, and, and, and she and her husband were a kind of power couple. And then, and the Queen loved them. And then the Queen moved aside, and suddenly the spotlight's off them. And, and it's, I find that so, it's kind of chilling that, you know, how quickly that can happen. And then the way that she has to scrabble away back into, into, into the Queen's good books, I think it's really exciting. So, yeah, it was just a very good script. Yeah. Working with Yorgos, I mean, he's such a visionary, very distinctive director. I mean, it must have been amazing to work with him. It was. It was incredible. And I love his film so much. But he's also just like a very normal, funny, sweet man. Um, so it's a good combination. Yeah. <laughs> Why does the movie think it deserves to be seen on the biggest screen possible? Um, well, I don't know. I mean, if you, if you can go see it on a big screen, I think it's always a kind of a special experience with the sound and the, the quality. But, you know, I, I think if people are watching movies, that's a, that's a good thing in general. Yeah. What do you want people to take away from this film? I never know how to answer that question because I think it's so individual when you go to a movie, the things you take away as opposed to someone else. So whatever sticks with them, I hope that's what they do. What, what, have, you taken away, what have you taken away from making this film? Great, great friends. I guess the challenges were mostly related to making sure I fit in as an American in an all-British cast, and then uh, that was that was pretty much the biggest the thing I was most nervous about because once I met everybody and we rehearsed, it was I felt so great with them, and I really loved Yorga, so it, was like, it felt like a very safe environment to just have fun and explore these wild women. Thank you. Yeah. In terms of audiences, I mean, they'll see it as a period movie, but it's so much more than that. I mean, what are you hoping they take away from it, but also what can they expect when they kind of sit down and watch it on the big screen? I hope they just enjoy it and as something that is very different to what they might conventionally see, whether it's a period film or just a, a film in general. It's kind of dark and bawdy and twisted and violent and funny and um, twisted in the best way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much for your time. Absolute pleasure. Thanks, man. Cheers, man. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. 
Hey! hey.